The following video has been made available with closed captions for the hard of hearing and in described video for the visually impaired. Please visit the description below for more details. I think Logitech is one of the most underrated brands out there. Me and my family have been using their mice for nearly 15 years. Not a single one has yet died on us. However, the main reason why we keep replacing them is because we keep on losing the wireless USB plugs. Needless to say, you've probably already heard of them. Perhaps you have used their keyboards before, maybe listened on their headsets, watched the movies using their remotes, or used their mice. This is a brand we use every day, but we never talk about it. And I think their personality as a company really reflects in their products. You probably don't know very much about Logitech, just as I did before I started writing the script. So let me talk a bit about them from what I gathered on their Wikipedia page. The francophone among you may have already guessed, but the brand is actually founded and headquartered in the Swiss Confederation, but it has offices all over the world. It has been around since 1981. Most interestingly, it has quite a portfolio of acquisitions that I did not expect. Companies such as Blue Microphones, makers of the Blue Yeti and Blue Snowball, Jaybird, a premium wireless audio brand, Streamlabs, a software company that makes tools for streamers, and Ultimate Ears, a custom IEM brand as well as a maker of popular Bluetooth speakers. They are clearly very experienced in building products for just about every person. So how does its traits make itself apparent in this mouse design in particular? Now this mouse is pretty old when it comes to tech products, but there are mice just like it that are still being sold today. This mouse is the Logitech V220, made with a solid grey plastic for the battery cover and the left and right mouse buttons, with a black frame around it. It has a grey scroll wheel in the middle, as well as grey rubber grips on either side. I have seen models with grey buttons and battery covers replaced with colourful patterns instead of the grey. The whole mouse has a wedge-shaped profile that is ambidextrous, which is an important feature that is often overlooked. If you want your product to be for everyone, that is an important feature. The mouse also provides very good tactile feedback with a notched scroll wheel and clicky buttons. This particular model has what Logitech calls an invisible optic, and from what I understand, it uses infrared light to track. It doesn't feel any different, but it is less obstructive when working in the dark, especially when I lift the mouse to move it. This mouse is wireless. The large USB stick that is the receiver conveniently stores into the bottom of the mouse so it's more difficult to lose and doesn't clutter the workspace. Newer models of these mice often have smaller receivers, but I think that this receiver is really interesting because it uses the sliding motion to automatically turn off the mouse. When you slide it out, it also pushes the on switch for you. Everything about this mouse communicates that it wants to be as unintrusive as possible. I think this marvel of design is what designers mean when they say good design is invisible. It blends right in when it works, and only when problematic mice are encountered, you understand the genius that is these normal mice. It is able to fit in anywhere with its grey design, and despite its one size fits all shape, it really is comfortable to use. It also uses a single AA battery really well, as it conveniently gives a comfortable weight to the mouse without making it over encumbering. It even uses small drawings and illustrations on the mouse to communicate the instructions for usage across language barriers. By allowing the features of the mouse to take a backseat, Logitech is able to help users think less about the tool and focus on getting work done. After taking a look at this ordinary mouse, we see that this mouse really is a reflection of Logitech as a brand. The company is unassuming though universally recognized. We know them well for making solid products, but most do not know all the companies they have acquired. In the same way, the Logitech V220 mouse has a boring design that blends right in, but is recognizable as a trusted tool. After our investigation, we understand that it uses subtle design strategies like its simple ambidextrous design which allows it to camouflage itself so it can be used by anyone. By looking closely at objects like this that are easily forgettable, we are able to start to comprehend the genius in how products like these are able to be at home 
in just about any home. Honestly, I use this mouse just about every day. I love how the wedge shape is so simple but comfortable, even when I use it all the time for gaming. Well, you've reached the end of this video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back next week for another episode and subscribe to be notified about it. I hope to see you soon.